We've already found that LG Z3 is one of the best smartphones of the year, no question about it. But now we have a stateside model to take a look at. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our review of the AT&T LG G3. Back in June, our own Michael Fisher covered LG's latest flagship in excruciating detail in a nearly 10 minute long video. We could do that again with this AT&T specific version, but we'd be repeating many of the same sentiments. Instead, we'll cut to the chase and cover the important differences, the good and the bad of AT&T's G3, and we'll be sure to fill you in on the details we omitted with the South Korean variant. First off, from the outside you won't see a ton of visual differences on the AT&T variant of the G3. Like before, it comes in two color options, silk white and metallic black. Of course we got the black model once again with the brushed metal-esque finish around back. Speaking of the backside, the designs are identical, but the branding has been swapped out. AT&T's globe is positioned just below the rear mounted buttons, and LG's insignia has been traded for the G3 emblem. Other than that, these phones are tit for tat, even on the inside. We were surprised to learn the AT&T variant would also come with 32GB of storage and 3GB of RAM instead of 2. And all the rest of the innards are the same as well. The Snapdragon 801 SoC with a quad-core Crate 400 CPU clocked at 2.5 GHz and Adreno 330 GPU. A 3000 mAh removable battery, microSD card slot with support for up to 128 GB, Wi-Fi 802.11ac, NFC, etc. It's all there, except one thing. And this sort of gets under our skin. The AT&T model does not come with Qi wireless charging. We know, it seems ridiculous, but at and support for the PMA standard means that, unlike other G3s, you can't simply plop this phone down on a Qi or PMA charging plate to charge it. No need to cough up the extra cash for a quick circle folio with PMA embedded, yet another $60 and it's only available through at and And no, research tells us you cannot simply buy a Qi replacement battery door for your at and G3 to magically get Qi back. It's gone, and that's truly unfortunate. Save for wireless charging and proper band support for AT&T here in the States, there are no major hardware changes, and that's a very, very good thing. Just as before, we're super pleased with the G3's hardware. And don't be alarmed about the complaints about the display, they're petty at best. Contrast and saturation can be tweaked in the accessibility settings, and the lower than usual brightness may affect some users, but it's not drastically dimmer than your run-of-the-mill smartphone display. The software situation is also much of the same. It's a solid balance of simplicity and user customizability. Things like the customizable navigation buttons and knock code give it just enough personality to separate it from the rest, and somehow LG manages to pack a ton of options and features into its software without bogging anything down or making the UI difficult to navigate and tweak. That is, if you don't use the task switching menu. On the flip side, AT&T has made some very subtle changes we're not exactly fond of. First and foremost, bloat. AT&T branded applications are in abundance. Approximately 22 come pre-installed, and long pressing and dragging any of these over to the remove function doesn't uninstall set apps, but rather disables them. Worse than that, two changes have been made in the notification sheet, and we're torn over the change. No longer are the brightness and volume sliders permanently displayed below the quick settings toggles. Instead, you get two toggle buttons for the brightness settings and sound profile. This helps reduce the clutter in the shade, but also makes accessing brightness and sound settings more cumbersome, especially considering where the volume buttons are located. Fortunately, everything else is still intact and this carrier version comes running Android 4.4.2 just like the South Korean edition. Like before, performance is buttery smooth. No matter whether you're pushing the phone to its limits with an intense game like the new Modern Combat 5, or browsing the web in Chrome and playing a YouTube video at the same time, the Snapdragon 801 keeps trucking along without issue. As expected, these findings are corroborated by synthetic benchmarks and its impressive scores. All you need to know in terms of performance is, the LG G3 is a beast. Last time we omitted call quality and network performance. Call quality this time was remarkably clear, we had no trouble hearing those on the other end. The earpiece and speakerphone were plenty loud even in noisy environments and callers reported no trouble hearing us in the same conditions. Network speeds have been awesome. Even in weak HSPA Plus coverage areas we mustered speeds upwards of 5 megabits per second down and 1 megabit per second up. Peak downlink speeds were over 40 megabits per second, and our peak uplink speed was over 16 megabits per second. Battery life is also something we were concerned about considering the 5.5 inch 1440p display in Snapdragon 801. Through our usage, the removable 3000 mAh battery managed to power us through a full day on a single charge, which is saying something. The battery did tend to plummet in two specific and obvious scenarios, with the display brightness at 100% and or in heavy gaming. In such cases, the phone would heat up and you could physically see the battery wilt away before your eyes. 
but in typical usage, the G3 stamina is impressive. The camera performance, like before, is hit or miss. In great lighting, you won't find much better, but the optical image stabilization, at least for low light shots, doesn't appear to have any effect on the light intake. Low light shots are washed out, blurry, and filled with noise. But as far as we can tell, there are no differences in this area. To no surprise, this version of the G3 is just as awesome as the first one we looked at. AT&T made some changes, some we don't exactly agree with, but the core and highlights of the phone are still intact. The display is still just as gorgeous, the performance is top notch, and the software is, dare I say, enjoyable. And we can't argue with its pricing either, $199.99 on a 2 year agreement or $579.99 without. AT&T's added touch, that is if you don't count the bloatware, is also nice. Data speeds and call quality have been fantastic. Still, we wish they'd left the Qi wireless charging alone and hadn't needlessly tweaked the software. If you're on AT&T and want a taste of the best of the best, the LG G3 is the real deal and totally worth the buy. Folks, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and want to help us out, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one in the future. Be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin, you can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.